Greetings, and welcome to the first video segment of Minatorial. My name is Cast, and I will be your mentor and guide today. Tutorial 1, Baby Basics and UI. In Minecraft, you will notice that everything is made of blocks. Simply move the mouse to change the direction you are facing and turn your head. This is called the camera angle. Do you see the icon at the center of your screen? It acts as a crosshair to target items or blocks. Target the block directly beneath your feet and hold down the left mouse button. The left mouse button is used as our action button. When used against a block, it causes it to crack and break over time. Once destroyed, an item pops out, now occupying the player's hand. The right mouse button acts as our alternative action. Instead of destroying a block, it places a block. With your left hand, Use the W, S, A, and D keys on your keyboard to move your character around. Now, rule number one, mark your spawn point. This is important to remember when you start building in Minecraft. If you happen to die, this is where you will restart. At the bottom of the screen, you will notice your user interface. The 10 hearts represent your health, and the empty boxes represent your action bar or your player's belt. You can scroll through your action bar with your mouse wheel or numbers 1 through 9 on your keyboard. Picked up items will go directly to your belt. You can hit I to open your backpack or inventory. You can move items around by left clicking. Your belt and backpack combined has 36 spaces. Hit escape on your keyboard and check out the options menu. Here you can change different audio and graphic settings for Minecraft. Changing the graphics and render distance will help slower computers. You can lock the frame rate if the game is skipping, or you can change the difficulty if it gets too hard. You can even set the game to peaceful where no mobs will attack you. If you have some 3D glasses, go ahead and throw on your 3D anaglyph and check out Minecraft in 3D. Click on controls to view or change your keyboard commands. Chat is only for multiplayer. Q is used to discard an inventory item. F will change your render distance. Holding the left shift button will cause you to sneak or crouch. While sneaking, you will not fall off the edge of any block. Use the spacebar to jump. Your player cannot jump higher than one block or further than two blocks. A running start will not help. What are you thinking? You can't run anyway. Lastly, take note that when you are underwater, a breath meter appears on your UI. When it is depleted, you start to drown. Use jump and your directional arrows to swim. And remember, you can't jump higher than one block. That about wraps it up for our first tutorial. Hopefully now you have mastered some of the concepts and the baby basics.